everyone welcome to all things data where we explore the power of data science analytics and beyond so um today i want to talk about some of the amazing careers that you could do in tech specifically looking in the data science field uh these careers requires you to write not even a single line of code right you won't be required to write any programming language at all and i mean it's not all of us who enjoy writing code right we don't want to speak your python language we don't want to uh, speak your sql we just want to find ourselves in the tech field uh, working with data but do not want to write a single line of code so yep in this video i'll be sharing with you some amazing top five uh, careers that are also high paying that you can work with and be amazing in your career right and these are high paying jobs right and they require zero knowledge and zero line of code you're not going to be required to code anything at all so without me wasting much more time because i want this video to be very short i'm just going to jump in it and you know um, so the first one that we have got is a data journalist. So what does a data journalist do? A data journalist tells stories using data. They collect, they analyze, and present insights in a way that the public can understand. Okay? So they make data easier to interpret to the public. Um, some of the skills that you need to be a data journalist are critical thinking, research top writing skills you have got to be great at writing um storytelling data has to do has everything to do with storytelling there's a video that i did sometime last year on storytelling please go watch it so you understand what storytelling in data is right and the other skill that you need is data visualization um, you can do data visualization looking at tools such as excel tableau and power bi right and where is it that you can work as a data journalist you can work in news agencies you can write blogs um, you can also work in government organizations and also in research firms okay and how you can go about it or how to get started just so you can build your portfolio um, towards data journalism is take storytelling courses i think you can do them on allison um, or any other online platforms but do google do google so you can familiarize yourself with this right and also practice um visualize visualizing trends like make sure that you understand trends and you practice a lot of visualizing trends because um data is all about visualizing and people understanding the kind of trends um that you want to portray to them right and the other thing is to also make sure that you write data-driven articles besides you are a data journalist so you have to write articles so you can start writing data articles so yeah you're gonna be good right and i feel like this is something that also if you're not working in data science as yet you can take it as a side hustle to start writing blogs start writing articles and publishing them around data okay and the second one we have got a business intelligence consultant also known as a bi consultant so what do they do bi consultants they help a business make data-driven decisions by analyzing trends and creating dashboards um, they do this by writing no line or single line of code right but i do know that in some companies there are other bi consultants that are coding a little bit there and there some i think they work with sql but also in other companies they don't write a line of code at all so it's something that you can look forward to so here are the skills that you need to be a bi consultant you have to have a great business strategy um be great at data interpretation and also knows tools such as excel understand your power bi and your tableau right where can you work as a bi consultant you can work almost everywhere many companies um require a bi consultant uh, you can work in corporation you can work in finance um, and also you can go ahead and work in consulting agencies right and how do you go about to start building up your portfolio as a bi um 
consultant. Um, I can say that start learning and building up your portfolio around Power BI and Tableau just to get your dashboard looking really great. Um, also get familiar with data reporting tools. And you can do this by taking up online courses. There's a lot that can help you to get started and you can build yourself a great portfolio. So now going to the third one, the third one, which is a data product manager. Most companies really need product managers, right? So we also have a data product manager. So what do you do or what is it that a data project manager does? So what they do is that they work at the intersection of data and business. So they are helping teams to develop products based on data insights, right? And that is done without touching a line of code. Yes, of course, you're not going to touch any line of code. So what you're going to be doing is to work uh, with the data and business, and you're just making them to intersect together like that, right? And here are the skills that you need to be a great data project manager. Be a business strategist, just like a BI consultant. Also, a data product manager has to be great at strategizing. Okay. And the skills that you need also is analytics. Um, and the other one I find that you must possess and have, it's a great leadership skills. You must be able to lead, okay? And also great communication skills because you will be doing a lot of communication. Um, so you will have to communicate a lot with your team, with business. You're just going to be doing a whole lot of communication. So how you start um, with your data project manager? You start by learning product management fundamentals get that right okay um also take uh data driven decision making courses you can also find those online um i always say go to allison i think allison has got almost every kind of course that you are looking for and you can study it for free um right and yep that is it for data product manager and the fourth one that i've got for you it's a market research analyst so what does a market research analyst do? They analyze trends, customer behavior, and competitor data to help businesses make informed decisions. Let me repeat that. They analyze trends, customer behavior. Here's the part that I want you to listen to the most. They also do a competitor data to help business make informed decisions right? So you know that every business has got a competitor. So you as a market research analyst, this is going to be one of your main goals to focus on, right? So here are some of the skills that you should be really great at. You have to be great at doing your research, right? Do a lot of research, be great at Excel, be good at Google Analytics, and also as a business strategist, you have to be great, right? And where you can work, you can work in marketing firms, you can work in e-commerce, um, also you can work in product-based companies, okay? And what you can learn, start by learning Google Analytics. Go to your Google and just type Google Analytics and go through it. You are going to learn it, right? And also understand consumer behavior analysis. I think it's something that you can also learn online or any other platform that offers courses for you to understand, right? And also the other thing that you have to understand and be great at, it's data presentation skills. So the way you present your data, it's very much important, right? It's very much important. And why I was saying that you have to really understand that you are dealing with other businesses right what you are going to do is that you have to understand what your competitor is doing best that is keeping their customers and you also have to analyze with what your business is doing wrong or is doing right to keep their customers or what is the other business doing right to keep getting the customers 
for i mean keep stealing customers from you and having them so you're always having having going to have to work um with doing a, comp a comparison in the market to understand um are you giving customers or clients the things that they are looking for uh so that you can always stay ahead and have great uh, business and a company that's thriving and making profit right and the last one which is number five that i have that you can look forward to working in is a data governance specialist data governance specialists don't touch a line of code and here is what they do they ensure that data is accurate it is secure and compliant with regulations right so these people have got everything to do with data ethics um in that video i told you to go watch on storytelling this is where i talk about data ethics as well and by the end of it so you will get to understand what data ethics are okay um so here are the skills that you need uh be very good with data policies and compliance okay and data security understand these things and you are good to go read you require a lot of reading and understanding of policies here um where you can work you can work in sectors in, such as healthcare banking sector government organizations you can work everywhere for data governance specialist so the only thing that you need to, you need to understand it's understanding data policies and ethics and data security that's what you need and how do you get started um, so you can channel your way to data governance specialist um, and to build up your portfolio? It's to learn data privacy laws and to also take data governance certifications. You do a lot of data governance certifications. And yeah, you could just um, be getting yourself along those lines of working in data and being a data governance specialist and without touching a line of code. What you have to understand is just to understand your policies and data security. That's it. Okay. So just to recap on the skills that you really have to possess. Okay. Because remember, you're not coming with coding and SQL or whatever that it is. You are not coming with technical skills, but these, these soft skills, they're really going to get you ahead. Okay. Make sure that you are really great at data visualization, guys. Okay. I'm repeating the skills that you really need. Okay. Because I want you to be great and good at them and work on them. Uh, data visualization. Uh, we are talking about tools such as Tableau power bi uh, and your google studio things like that the other one is critical thinking and business strategy and also the third one is communication and storytelling for presenting insights and be good at communication and storytelling okay and the last one is to research is to research and analysis so you must be able to understand trends and competitor data so you really have to be good with your research and doing your analysis thoroughly okay so yeah that's it guys i hope uh you're gonna look into these careers and i hope that you're gonna find them uh really worth getting into i don't think that it's overcrowded so yeah it's it's things that you can really look forward into working in so yeah guys i do hope and believe that you found this video to be very much helpful and very much worth your time and if you would really love to get this kind of content going forward please do stay um and to be a regular just click on that like button like this video share it with whomever would love and appreciate hearing this kind of information and most importantly please do subscribe to all things data i'd really appreciate it and that's it from me for today until we meet on the next one bye